the reason we're doing the work that we do is because sudden death is such a devastating, uh, you know, a, a disease or devastating event to occur. Um, and we know that the heart uh, and all the things that it does is very tightly uh, controlled by the nervous system. It's been recognized for a very long time that the nervous system is very important for how the heart works uh, and also very important for, you know, why people die, people with heart disease, why they die. So the whole goal of our work is to understand how can we take the nervous system and harness its benefits, essentially uh, what we call plasticity, and then use that to treat the heart, make the heart beat better, make the heart uh, you know, be more effective, make the heart use less energy for its daily activities, um, and really help, help treat patients. You know? um, so the use of machine learning and artificial intelligence approaches, uh, which are enabled by NeuroNexus mapping tools, I think is really going to be the future. I think what we're going to be able to do is exactly understand what the language of the nervous system is. Each of these little action potentials or pulses um, is a word, essentially. And so therefore we are trying to pull words together to make sentences and then pull sentences to, together to understand context and to understand what the nervous system is trying to say. We want to know what the language is of a healthy nervous system and we want to know what the language is of a diseased nervous system and therefore begin to understand how we can make the nervous system start to say something different. And, you know, I think that the tools that NeuroNexus makes available, both for recording and for stimulating, I think will really help us to achieve this.